The following is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. Yeah, we have Tom on from Tampa on the phone. Hey, Tom. Good morning. It's bright and early now, huh? Hey, hey, it's good. Hi, Tom. How you guys doing? Nico? Doing great. Good. Hey, um, your newsletter is outstanding, man. I'm, I'm telling you, man, it is outstanding. And so is the Run Emily. I love that stuff. I'd never be without it. I mean, I've been on it now three, four months, man. I mean, it's just I can't get over how good I feel. Primal Edge is, uh, you know, people are raving about it. People who are trying it, they know because you can feel it. We'd not be without it. Call now. Toll free at one 877 Nine two seven six six four eight. Internationally at seven two seven four four five one zero four four. Now your hosts, Nico Dehan and Paige Clark. Good morning, I'm Nico Dehan. Welcome to Living a Primal Lifestyle, where we explore a return to our more balanced, natural, wild world. To recover our natural health and regain our rights and freedoms, I'm Paige Clark. Good and morning. It's a beautiful morning in downtown Clearwater. It's sunny and 74 degrees. A lot and better. Had, than and we had a little cold snap, a little rain, and kind yeah. of cooled things and off. Yeah, it, it actually changed the weather for the whole week because we had supposed to be rain all week and this tropical storm all of a sudden uh, up. Now it's gone across the state and the dry air has come in. So, blessing for us. That's right, exactly. And make sure you subscribe to our Health Signals newsletter. It's news you can use every day to live longer, stronger, healthier, and wealthier. Yeah, and I got a brand new issue out, and it starts with what we were talking about, uh, living another day thanks to grandparents who couldn't sleep. This is about the centennial who's awake in the middle of the night. That's guarding right. Guarding everybody. Kind of a cool article. And that was from a real hunter-gatherer society, so we kind of know what's going on there. Yeah, and uh, of course, you can pick this up. Uh, it's $10 a month, which gives you two issues, action-packed issues, with all kinds of links and everything. So you can do your own research. That's right. And pick up our that. Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. <coughs> That'll give you a little insurance policy to stay getting the nutrition that we no longer get because of our soil. And you can use Tiger Dollars to get this, and you can get it at the TFNN website. That's right. And the number here is 877-927-6648 if you'd like to give us a call and join the conversation. So did you know that the air you breathe on a commercial airliner comes directly from the engine, complete with engine oil, lubricants, and hydraulic fuel? A new study confirms the link between contaminated cabin air and uh, called aerotoxic syndrome. Yeah, we really need to learn what we can do to protect ourselves. I mean, flying is a rather uh, health-inhibiting <coughs> activity. I mean, yes. really, when we fly, we're getting exposed to Wi-Fi. We're getting exposed to you know, toxic air, we're getting opposed to electromagnetic frequencies, it just goes on and on. So if you don't feel well after you travel, it might be more than simple jet lag. And um, Yeah, very, that, very interesting because uh, I have a client who doesn't feel well after she flies. And it's, uh, it seems to be always the case as she's going someplace and she comes back, of course, she takes her, her a while. To takes recuperate. her a while, sometimes she just not feeling good three or four days. And, uh, you know, I've sat in planes before myself, and you sit there and it's idling, and all of a sudden you get those fumes coming in just for a short time. Can you believe that people used to smoke on the plane? Yeah. That's, I that's, mean, when you stop and you think yeah, about that. That is pretty crazy. But in reality, <clears throat> perhaps what we have now with the Wi-Fi and everyone paying for their own connection because they're afraid to be... Uh, connected, it all adds up because from the parking garage to the baggage carousel, your body undergoes a fuselage of toxic insults, as mm -hmm. the article from Green Med Info says. You may eat toxic food, you're drinking toxic water right. from the plane, and the surfaces are contaminated, and it really is. And before you even get on the plane, you get bombarded by the toxic body scanners that we found out are not safe, as they yeah. claimed. For six decades, the airline industry has turned a blind eye to the adverse health effects of contaminated cabin air. Yeah. The wow. warm air is needed for both engine propul propulsion and human respiration. So aircraft manufacturers decided decades ago to combine the two by bringing the air through the engine to heat it and then bleeding it through directly into the cabin unfiltered. Oh, and that's special. <laughs> yeah, this air wow. uh, brings with it a toxic mixture of engine oil, lubricants, and various hydrocarbons, as noted by a U.S. attorney, Alisa Bradkowski, I think it is. Uh, Bradkowitz. Bradkowitz, excuse me. And the uh, only air filters are the lungs of the passenger and the crew. 
The truth is stranger than fiction, guys. They have modern aircraft has no chemical se sensors at all, and except for the noses of the yeah. humans right. on board. We're I mean, that's sensors. basically it. It's yeah. hard to believe, you know, when we're in a capsule up above. Uh, you know, ten, thousands, tens of thousands of feet, there is no air sensors and background levels of contamination are sometimes but not always detected by smell. And not all these incidences are recorded in flight logs or reported to authorities. Uh, it's really disturbing. Yeah, engine oil leak uh, into the air supply by design. Their chemical signature is regularly found in aircraft cabins and cockpits. Repeated exposures have created a new occupational disease called aerotoxic syndrome, suffered by pilots, flight attendants, and other crews, and unfortunately some of the passengers as well. Like, like your client, yeah, you know, so <clears throat> it really confirms that the frequent exposures are occurring and that health and flight safety are being compromised. So what are we going to do about it? You know, this is really disturbing. Um, you know, and as we go on, we'll, we'll learn a little bit more about what's really going on. But, you know, when I stop and think, Nico, we just continue to say, thank you, I'll take another. Thank you, I'll take another. We just keep taking these insults to our health from every avenue, from yeah. every direction. It's and this just is disturbing. Not like, it's not like it's common knowledge. It's kind of common knowledge because we all know when we get in planes, we're stuck in this capsule and it is enclosed. It has to be enclosed because we're flying real high, mm -hmm. the air is too thin. Uh, so we can't get that fresh air. But there has to be another system. That but it we just could. seems that they could be installing air filtration. They could be doing some infil filtration systems. Yes. I mean, we have them. We right. have these things. And it's a shame that we have to spend the money. It should be part of the <coughs> quality control. You would think so. That you would think that uh, the health of the passengers, for foremost, but also the health of the crew, I mean, that has to be. I mean, these people know this is going on. So how come, you know, this has nothing has been done about this? Now, there is one new airliner which is the, what, what they call the Dreamliner. Okay, yeah. And the Dreamliner is the 787, and that has a different filtration. That's made by Boeing. Yeah. but The Boeing 787 is going to have an improved air system, but basically we still have all these planes that but are 20, 30 years fly, old. But it's not by wire system. It's an all-electronic system. Mm -hmm. And I know pilots who tell me they don't like to fly on anything but that has the wires, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as a backup system. So when the electronics go down in the Dreamliner, things go wrong well yeah exactly yeah. so you know getting back to this whole report of this toxic air um, there was a report published by the World Health Organization that provided solid evidence that contaminated cabin air is making people sick and it took an in-depth look at the effects of these contaminated air events um, on the health of crew and whether reported symptoms are consistent with the exposure and they've just concluded it absolutely has to be looked at and you know the words have been said what you really is is a flying gas chamber when you get on a plane yeah, the that's really rather scary yeah the researchers concluded this a clear cause and effect relationship has been identified linking the symptoms diagnosis and findings to occupational environment recognition of this new occupational disorder is a clear medical investigation protocol uh, they're urgently needed they say mm -hmm. uh, so this is uh, you can flip this over and say, okay, now they're going to come up with a drug for it. You know, I mean, that's that's the next thing in line, perhaps. Now, are you getting ready you get... to, are you, are, are, do you want to avoid toxic plane syndrome? Yeah. And Take gonna... this pill before you get on the plane. And they'll plane. sell it right just before you get on the plane, I guess. I don't yeah. know. Maybe they'll give it away. It really... no, I doubt that. We don't give anything away. No, they don't give anything okay, away. Okay, well, stick around, folks. I want to talk a little bit more about the flying gas chamber. So please stick <laughs> yeah, around. Stay, yeah, and, uh, you need to yeah, use and it's a good time to, stay to uh, pick up a primal edge. So for $89, you get it every month uh, at a discounted price, and it gives you everything you need to stay healthy, so please pick that up we'll right now. We'll be right now. back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. 
Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The fund Funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Nico and Paige take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. <laughs> Talking about the flying gas chambers, what happens when you fly on a jet, jet exhaust, and therefore cabin air are tainted with petrochemicals, carbon monoxide, ozone, benzene, toluene, formaldehyde, acetylhyde, hydraulic fluid, and even fecal matter and pesticides, according to the study. In terms of aerotoxic syndrome, the most significant players appear to be the organophosphates, and we'll be talking more about that. Yeah, most uh, medical practitioners are really unaware of this uh, toxicity syndrome. Uh, aerotoxic aerotoxicity. syndrome. Mm -hmm. Sufferers are misdiagnosed with the various uh, other illnesses, and a lot of times they miss the problem and get Im improper treatments. The prime suspect for these, uh, this syndrome is TCP, tributyl phosphates. They're found in 73% of the fl uh, flights and uh, also uh, when they take urine samples. 100% of the time, those those characters are yeah, there. Yeah. And it really gives us an idea. I mean, it goes back to taking the survey, the doctor, taking, mm -hmm. the, taking the history. Have you been on a flight? That should be a standard question. Have, when have you recently flown? Have you flown a lot? Mm -hmm. You know, when was the last time you flew? These are things that the inquiring doctors in the functional medicine are more likely to get into. It's like the veterinarian saying, well, what did you feed your dog because he's sick this morning? Yeah, because yeah. the dog can't talk. Right. And that's why I always said it's better to see a veterinarian than a, in a, sense, that's, than a that's medical true. doctor baby. It's uh, primarily, uh, it's believed that these effects of TCP come from the disruptions of the metabolism. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, these neurotransmitters that our, our uh, nerves have, there's kind of a white sticky substance that mm -hmm. deals around them. Kind of like uh, when you have... Um, a disease that's multiple dy dystrophy, I think it is, mm -hmm. that has that same reaction to closing off the uh, neurotransmitters, let's say, to right. yourselves. Yeah, well, the truth <clears throat> is, uh, you know, when our neurotransmitters are disrupted, it really creates a lot of problems. And uh, it's, you know, it's going to cause things like neuropathy and paralysis. And, you know, when we have damage to the myelin sheath, yeah, which is the coating on our about. nerves, yeah. Um, you know, we're going we're gonna to see a lot more problems, and uh, even the smallest dose can produce symptoms if you're a susceptible individual. And who knows if you are or not? Everyone is different. Uh, you know, it can depend on 
lots of different things based on your history, your genetics, your overall exposure to toxicity, and your ability to detox. And so what we're seeing now are chronic effects in people, and little did we know that many of these things could very well be a result of their travel habits. Yeah, it certainly could be. The relationship between toxic inhalants and reported symptoms have been difficult to establish for a number of reasons. Mm -hmm. Another problem is that the toxins cause a wide range of symptoms that are not always easy to connect to the exposure. Less, I mean, more and more we have to understand that it's really the environment that we're struggling in. Mm -hmm. And we're not in our natural environment. We were not naturally supposed to be in these flying, you know, coffins, so to speak, of toxic <laughs> Boy, air. Yeah. You know, we weren't meant to be in Wi-Fi soup. Yeah, and another thing that makes it difficult, Paige, is that a lot of these symptoms are kind of delayed, one or two or three days, so you really don't connect the two things. We, I traveled, but that was last week, now I got a cold this, this week. Well, and it's the same <clears throat> thing with food, too. A lot of people think, well, well I'm not allergic to that because I ate it and I felt fine. Mm -hmm. But uh, most food allergies have a delay to right. them, and they show up quite a bit later. Yeah, and interesting, too, is that uh, we really, you know, I often thought that going on a plane, the, the worst thing was, of course, the cosmic rays because we have less protection during the, the grand solar. we're so high, right? Well, we're so high, and we're also... In a grand solar minimum. Uh, which means that the air is compressed down, so that means the higher we are, the less of a protection we have. So you better take your antioxidants yeah. every time you and fly. And I thought the people that were sick were on the plane was the most problems. In other words, somebody right. has a cold, the air is trapped in there, I'm going to breathe that. I thought maybe that was the problem most of the time. And that's where, you know, in the last uh, couple of years, my wife and I have decided to fly as least as we can. Right. And not going to the higher elevate, uh, higher uh, latitudes, too, because mm -hmm. the air is thinner there. That's where the poles are. That's why we see the northern lights and the southern lights, because there's less protection and those rays that's, come in. You're exactly right. So if you <coughs> are a person who flies, what are 10 of the most acute and chronic health effects that the WHO noticed uh, when they started studying aerotoxic syndrome? Number one is breathing problems. Yeah, number two is impaired cognition, memory, and performance. Wow. Number three is headaches. So if you're flying, you know, I've got some friends who are pilots. I get out to talk to them about this. Vision problems. Yeah, nausea, fatigue are often uh, cited. As we mentioned, nerve pains, neuropathy, uh, dizziness. Cardiovascular disease and cold and flu-like symptoms. And uh, so this is really an epidemic of <coughs> underreporting of these things. So we all need to become more aware that this is, in fact, a toxic insult to our bodies and try and do some things to boost your immune system before you expose yourself if, if it's needed. You mentioned the Boeing 787, the Dreamliner, and it's going to be great that it's going to have this, but, um, you know, again, as we know, planes are often many 20, 30 years old when you're flying on them. They, they kind of keep them in... Well, the fact that the Boeing 747 or 787s were de redesigned to have a better ventilation system means that the industry knew that this is going on. Yeah, it says that it's a step in the right direction. However, the vast majority of aircraft are still in the technological dark ages with public awareness of health risks only starting to emerge with, you know, again, thanks to Sayer G of Green Med Info bringing this to us, you know. And one of the things that jet pilots do get screened a lot and they do get health examinations and one of the things that are uh, usually found in their blood is these uh, jet engine chemicals are found in their blood. Yeah, and this affects them neurologically, and folks, that's important for us to be concerned. After all, pilots are essential to keeping our planes safe yeah, in the air. It, yeah. it is inexcusable for the industry to continue ignoring this problem. And, you know, that's what they do because nobody's paying attention. Yeah. Everybody's watching a reality show. They're not listening to news that's impacting their life, and it's really important that we not only read it and absorb it, but we share it. Yeah and we speak up. Yeah, so Sarah G of the Green Men Info says it will be the consumers and non-governmental advocacy organizations that really will force the industry to get its regulations in order mm -hmm. and make health a priority. You know, that's the, the problem. The consumer's got to know about it, so you have to read the kind of news that's going to share this stuff. And we also have to uh, give feedback to the airline companies 
that we do have these problems. So imagine if everybody who was sick a week after they have a flight call into the airlines and say, look, this is what's going on. We're not going to be flying on your plane unless you have a 787 or whatever you want to say to them. Really important to have the feedback because uh -huh. it's being underreported, probably because most people don't know about it. That's what I'm thinking. Well, the Air Toxic Association, which group that's really trying to bring this to the forefront, has a couple of following solutions and in the meantime and that is as bleed air is not presently filtered installation of bleed air filtration systems would eliminate the problem although a technically efficient system has not yet been developed yeah and um, of course this is another cost things now uh, I know the airlines and airports are all being subsidized in some manner they're mm -hmm. certainly subsidized for fuel costs a lot of them buy fuel uh, ahead of time like uh, Southwest did they bought 10 years worth of fuel years ago just to keep their prices down. So they have to find ways. But uh, I think health is probably should be the number one thing always with everything that we do. So when we come back from the break, what I want to do is talk about some of the solutions that we can do besides just not flying mm -hmm. and give you kinds of heads up to what uh, you can do to change this for yourself. So we'll yes. be right back. We'll be right back. Stay with us. like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of performance training since 1998 Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically as a certified personal trainer Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions the performance training studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort for more information you can give Nico a call at 727-418-8740 or email him at Nico at TFNN.com. Let him know you heard him on TFNN and save up to $100 on a special package just for TFNN listeners. Act today. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
And welcome back. And we're talking about the lousy air in the airplanes. And until the uh, airlines implement some greatly overdue changes, there are a few things you can do to protect yourself from exposure to uh, toxic inhalants when you fly. This yeah, is there, there's some masks that have been created uh, to protect your family from the air pollution found on planes. And the Aerotoxic Association has a page about masks specifically geared for airline travel, and they have included some guidelines. Um, yeah, if you're looking for a small foldable mask with good protection, you should always check out the technology they use. It should uh, indicate for the following particulars, VOCs, those are types of fumes, gas, smoke, etc. Uh, make specific mask for that. So it has to have what we call the activated charcoal type of filter in it. Yeah, just like what we use to get our clean water. Yeah. They actually recommend one called the Cambridge Mask Company, which offers masks with the correct filtration technologies in five different sizes from infants on up. Maybe we all need to go and buy this technology. But we were laughing, Nico and I were talking during the break. It's kind of like, you know, <clears throat> couldn't they figure out a way to make this in such a disposable cost that it's kind of like the earbuds and the yeah, blankets the and everything they right. give out, you know? Uh, they no, should... you can keep those blankets? Well, no, you no. can't keep the blankets, yeah. that's right. Yeah. But they, they, they re-clean those. But you're right, the earbuds are have turned into being disposable items. I think items. the mask, mask would be cheaper. But they don't, they don't want that type of thing going on in there because that would allude to the uh, idea that they know about this and they're not doing anything. Yeah. Uh, I think if we all get on planes and go a little bit step farther, let's get a little suit with our own air and see what the airlines do. I know, do. that's yeah. what you were saying. Yeah. So we'll cover some other ways that you can protect yourself and yep. your loved ones when you're flying. But maybe, Al, if you could zoom in on that picture we have on the Telestrator. Actually, if you take a look at this, Nico and I were saying, I've never seen an airline that has that wide of an aisle <laughs> and more anymore. comfortable seats. Yep. I'm sure that was a little bit of a... Um, um, you know, graphics thing. But when you look at that picture, I want you to see the metal railings of the chairs. Since all the electronics on a plane must be grounded, by putting your foot uh, during your trip, um, and preferably even your bare foot, on that railings mm -hmm. of the chair in front of you, you're actually protecting yourself from much of the electromagnetic frequency cool. stress. So ground yourself, folks. Make sure you look at those metal legs and uh, take your shoe off and put your foot on there and that will give you a little bit of protection. So what are some other ways in addition to wearing a mask that well, you can keep in mind the following? First one is that you need to stay hydrated. In other That's words, right. you need to drink pure water filtered from uh, home or bottled or uh, not airline water, as they suggest. But yeah, they do, that water is not to be trusted. But they do give away, a lot of the companies do give away water or at least sell it. Well, the water that they're giving you a lot of times, too, you don't know where it's coming from because the girl fixes it into one of those little glasses. So better just to buy your own water before you get on the plane at, yeah. the, at the gift yeah, shop. I agree. Also, yeah. avoid departing in an exhausted or stressed state as that compromises your immune system. Yeah. And many of us are, quite frankly, either we're traveling for business or we've been working our little booties off so that we can get on vacation yeah. or get where we're going. So we're stressed to begin with so most of the time. Take some nucleotides. I love Premier Research's uh, nucleoimmune. Um, so no wonder people are getting sick. Just think about it. Okay, we have to arrive a couple of hours early. So that, uh -huh. that anxiety starts right yeah. then. You have to have the proper baggage and the right sizes at the right weight. Right. And you have to wait in line with these whole bunch of people. Oh, it's a big ordeal. That's the place where I fear most that uh, terrorists could attack, in these big lines where all the people are before security. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing is you're going into a plane and now the plane is sitting there. Often we sit there for an hour, sometimes a couple of hours we're waiting in there, all the while in this enclosed system, and you can smell that exhaust going through there. Oh, so yeah. this is this is a really bad situation from the anxiety t standpoint as well as, you know, getting... You know, I make my, my clients and my family little inhalers. Yes. <laughs> with you aromatherapy. Yes. Yeah, I gave yep. you one. Yeah, so if you use that before you're flying, you're kind of filling your olfaction system with um, with phytochemicals that are immune building and also anti-infective. But anyways, yeah, uh, you know, if you hear people coughing on a plane, that could also be an indication that this isn't a highly contaminated aerotoxic syndrome flight. Yeah. And uh, you need to report unusual smells or visible smoke to the flight crew and ask them to alert the cabin. The smell of these fumes um, have been described as wet dog-like dirty socks, burning oil or electrical. You can file a fume event report online and uh, and let people know that you suspect that the air quality 
has been compromised because we now know, in fact, it is. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And uh, when you adjust that air, a lot of you know, you get in there. It's a little warm on the plane. The first thing you want to do is adjust that air and have it stream on you. Well, that's not the thing to do because that's mm -hmm. where those fumes are coming from. So you need to either shut it off or direct it away from you. Right. So. Uh, good idea, of course, is be the last one on the plane. Yeah, be the last one on the plane and the first one to get off. That's the way to try and think, you know, yeah. the less time you're on this plane. So hope that's helpful for you because, you know, we are in travel season and hopefully everyone's going to take some precautions and take a look at those those um, air masks. Yeah, I wonder if any people think about this stuff before you go on a plane. Like I said, uh, Ellen and I have decided not to fly as much as we can. Mm -hmm. So next summer's trip is going to be all by car, which I love anyway. I yeah. love traveling on the roads. I think it's nice to be able to stop and experience the small towns. Yeah. If you are interested in that mask, it says the Cambridge Mask Company is affiliated with the Aerotoxic team. Uh, you can use the code in all caps, AEROMASK, at checkout to receive a 10% discount, and that's at the Aerotoxic team website or the Cambridge Mask Company. Um, they tend to run small, so remember that when you order. So. Yeah, you know, these are good tips. And another thing that uh, you want to do is try to fly as least as possible. And I highly recommend, because of this grand solar minimum that is coming, that uh, flying way up north is probably not a good idea. And if you're a flight attendant, I'd try to get those southern routes. Boy, I'm telling you something. My friend's a pilot, mm -hmm. and he flies that, you know, to Hong Kong and everything, mm -hmm. and over to Europe. So he's going way up there yeah. near the, the polar. So there's a lot of exposure, a yeah. lot yeah. of exposure. You know. That's for sure. So I wanted to switch over uh, in the next segment. I want to talk about this uh, nervous system rhythms that are going to be synced with the activity of the geomagnetic system that the Earth, the Sun, our planets, and all have. And it's an interesting article. It's called Synchronization of a Auto of the Autonomic Nervous System. Rhythms with the geomagnetic activity found in humans. So that's what we're going to talk about uh, when we get back. And it's over the past few years that a number of publications have emerged from scientists and researchers all over the world regarding the human magnetic field. Well, we are magnetic. We're electromagnetic beings. And, uh, you know, similar to quantum entanglement, it's, it's the fact that we need to synchronize our 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 human magnetic field mm -hmm. with that of the planet right. and with other animals. And when we do that, that's the way we were designed. And these things we're talking about, these planes, these electromagnetic fields, these non-native EMF are interfering with our, with our natural way to um, entangle in a yeah. healthy way. Yeah, they've been studying these mag human magnetic fields, and they've also been studying the magnetic field of the planet and how all these fields, including our own, can impact ourselves and the people around us. Mm -hmm. It's similar to quantum entanglement uh, in that they both show that everybody and every living thing is connected in ways that we have yet full to fully understand. And it's very important that they talk about a sphere being in a sphere. So the sphere being the Earth, the outer sphere, which is the atmosphere, and we're a sphere. So our sphere, we're a sphere. is the negative. Right. We're negative, and the outer atmosphere is positive. Right. That's, of course, the mag electromagnetic. Magnet yeah, and there's no mag magnetism without electricity, folks. Yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about this. The brilliant scientists at HeartMath Institute are doing a lot of this work, and we'll be back to share that with you. So stay with us. And you can still give us a call at 877 927 <laughs> You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. So the truth is we really want to be in sync with the world. Our autonomic nervous system wants to get into a rhythm with the autonomic system of the earth by the geomagnetic pulses and rhythms and leading the charge in exploring all of this is the brilliant scientists over at HeartMath Institute. HeartMath is an internationally recognized nonprofit research center uh, that, educa that educates and it is dedicated to helping people reduce stress, to self-regulate their emotions and build energy and resilience. I love that word. Yeah. Yeah, their resilience training for so that you can have a happy healthier life and it's really all about reconnecting with nature yeah a large portion of uh, the research has been investigating the heart and the brain interactions researchers mm -hmm. have examined how the heart and brain communicate with each other and how that affects our consciousness and the way in which we perceive our world yeah exactly I mean just to give you an idea a little bit about what they do for example when a person is feeling really positive emotions uh, like gratitude and love or appreciation the heart beats out a certain message and because the heart beats out the largest electromagnetic field produced in the body, much larger than the brain, uh, it can yield significant data for researchers, and they've been doing fascinating work from there. And now the Institute has published new research which suggests that daily autonomic nervous system activity not only responds to changes in solar and geomagnetic activity, but it also synchronizes with the time-varying magnetic fields associated with geomagnetic field line resonances and the Schumann resonance, which is the pulse of the Earth. Yeah, if you look at the magnetic field, this uh, gives you a depiction of the magnetic field. And Very how, much like the magnetic field of our uh, own uh, heart. Yeah, and our own body, too. Right. Yeah, exactly. so we have this shield around us that's protecting. You can see how wide it is here and how thin it is here, and this is where the rays come in mostly. But as we get into the solar, grand solar minimum, this is going to uh, be a lot smaller. Right. Uh, yeah, the so shield is we see the northern lights here. This is those, uh, uh, these types of rays that come in. These mm -hmm. are uh, currents mm -hmm. that come in, and they, they look like ribbons, almost like curtains. It's rather that come beautiful, in. yeah. And we're going to see this farther and farther south as the grand solar minimum comes So in. as the magnetic field kind of collapses due to the solar minimum yeah. activity, the northern lights that are usually seen up in those northern continents yeah. will be seen lower and lower. Yeah, and, and you can see them. They're ribbons just like it depicted here. That's the way they look. That's the way it looks. Now, it's interesting. We have a German physicist, uh, Professor Schumann, of the Technology 
our technical uh, university of munich uh, he's the first one that uh, came up with a frequency to answer whether or not the earth had its own frequency yeah whether yeah. earth and whether human beings actually have a frequency too he thought this uh, frequency was 10 hertz it wasn't until 1954 that Schumann teamed up with another scientist and they confirmed that the residents of the Earth actually maintained a frequency of 7.83 hertz. This discovery was later tested out by several scientists and confirmed. So the Schumann resonance has been the accepted term to describe or measure the pulse or heartbeat of the planet Earth. Yes, and to follow up and confirm these profound findings, an international study with 104 participants in five countries was conducted. The preliminary findings have confirmed and extended the results of the first study. They indicate that humans' hearts' rhythms are synchronized on a global scale. We are synchronized not only with each other, but also with the Earth's energetic systems. Yeah, there's one of this video that um, I really liked sharing, you know, it just kind of moved me. Someone mm -hmm. did a video of the pulse and the breathing of the rate earth, yeah. of, of the earth and it would show the waters receding. Like the and tides. Then, and yeah, the, yeah, the tides and, you know, birds moving and it's, it was just beautiful. And we really need to know that ultimately it's this connection um, that we have to maintain to stay right. healthy. The reason I bring this up, Paige, is because, I mean, it's an interesting study in itself, but going into a grand solar minimum, these residences are going to change. The residences are going to change. The residences mm -hmm. are going to change, which means we're going to be effective uh, detrimentally more than in the past because we have less shielding, which means we're going to get more rays. So it's more important today than ever to be healthy because we're traveling more on airplanes like we said before but and also we have less protection yeah and we're traveling on this little spaceship called earth and that's getting less perception kind of like the planes are so that's the the reason I wanted to tie these things together. So as the grand solar minimum comes, bubonic plague, flu outbreaks, all these things that impact us, they impact our nervous system, our immune system. These things happen during grand solar minimum periods. Most of the time. Yeah, this most is the of research the time. we're finding. And so not only do, are we going to have worse weather, which is a, another stressor, but we're going to have less quality of air to breathe. We're going to have be inundated with all different kinds of toxins from uh, things that are happening on our planet, like big bird kills, cattle kills, the, uh, we, we know that uh, there's more beaching of the whales and the dolphins. So all these things are connected the way the Earth is resonance. And I do believe, and a lot of people say that what, the end times are coming. Well, it's not the end times, it's just that we're changing. But it's kind of like your Earth might be purging a little bit. A little Every cleaning, once in a while, they, the, yeah, they need the a little debris. house cleaning. Yeah, yeah. the debris. And, you know, when you look around <clears throat> the Earth right now, the debris seems to be coming from us. That's the scary part. Yeah, probably more so than ever before. I, I think so, because mm -hmm. we know <clears throat> that we want a pristine wild world. That's the basis for our show. We know that in the wild we can be a lot healthier. We know we feel better when we go out there and when we come into our made up little world that we think is so cool, we actually get sicker and sicker. Yes. And some of these reasons is what we're talking and about as, right as now. the study that they've been doing over at HeartMath says human regulatory systems are designed to adapt to daily and seasonal climatic geomagnetic variations. However, sharp changes in solar and geomagnetic activity and geomagnetic storms can stress these regulatory systems resulting in alterations in melatonin, serotonin, blood pressure, immune system, reproductive, cardiac, neurological, etc., etc., etc. All of these self-regulatory or the autonomic nervous system is impacted when there's a change in the Earth's rhythm. And that's what Nico's saying. We have a change coming in the Earth's rhythm. And it's really fascinating when you wonder how much we know about our health and what influences it. And we're saying nature influences our health. Yeah, and so this study outlines how during the periods of increased solar activity. Or decreased solar activity. Right, which peaks every 10 and a half to 11 years. This cycle actually was about 13 years. The sun emits increasing UV energy, ultraviolet energy, and solar radio flub, which is measured by a 2.8 gigahertz signal. And although the details of the physiological mechanisms of humans and animals are 
are not completely understood, it is apparent that solar and magnetic influences affect a wide range of human health and behavioral processes with the cardia, uh, cardiovascular, cardiovascular and nervous, nervous system, system being the most. Yes, so you can see the changes that are going on in the earth are not just the political things that are going on. And it's not because we're breathing out carbon dioxide, folks. This is on a bigger <laughs> scale. Yeah, sure. The sun. <clears throat> The sun is changing. The solar system is affecting the earth, and as a result, the earth is affecting us. Yeah, so. And so, you know. Um, when we come back, let's finish this whole thing. I think that's a great idea. Because we've got a couple idea. of studies to talk about on this. But take a look at this chart here. I that's mean, this beautiful. really, really does show you what the protection is of the earth. And imagine if this gets squashed thinner and thinner and thinner. If you look outside, you, I think you'll find the clouds are a little bit closer to us than they ever have been. Mm -hmm. So we'll continue. Stick around, folks. The number here is 877 I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. No matter where you're listening to TFNN programming, you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern, and you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones, iPads, and Android devices, located in the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV, but if you don't have a connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit tfnn.mobi in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and call-in talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com Educating Investors up next, 9 Before 9 with John Logan on TFNN. So I've been talking a little bit about what's going on and, and the way that a lot of technology is impacting our health. And we have an article here that says that in recent years, men's sperm count is are down worldwide. So says a study. Well, I've seen other studies on this, Nico, and as I mentioned to you, uh, many people, and I'm really involved now in the light and the EMF studies, mm -hmm. are saying that it's really a lot of result of our chronic blue light situation. Mm -hmm. I mean, Primal Man didn't have Times Square. 
That's for sure. You didn't have all these different lights and activities going on. When it was dark, it was dark. And so we've got a circadian rhythm issue. We've got a light quality issue that's affecting us. But what this says, a new report says sperm counts are down among men in Western countries, including men in North America, Australia, New Zealand, and Europe. Mm -hmm. And they've dropped substantially over the years. And according to this study, in less than 40 years, sperm counts have dropped 50%. And uh, this is still, to this date, sperm count is considered the best measure of male fertility. Folks, this is concerning. Uh, have you heard about the fact that Japan has a lower birth rate? And there, again, it's the same thing. There's no interest in sex in the young people there because they're all blue light toxic because mm. they've been spending their lives growing up on their technology. Yeah. And the yeah. blue light, just the regular hormones yeah. and neurotransmitters aren't being secreted. So interesting. I was watching uh, the snake guy. Uh, he uh, is in uh, South Africa. Mm -hmm. And he catches all these snakes with his girlfriend. And a uh, great guy. Love the guy. Uh, they're going into these villages where, I mean, there's no electricity. There's no uh, toilets. Uh, and people are living in shacks. But everybody has a cell phone. Everybody there has a cell phone. They're taking pictures of the snake. They're catching mamas and pythons and things like that. And it's, it's really sad to me. This really speaks just, it's a tragedy. It because is a tragedy. here the people are living in Africa, and a lot of dangerous things there have no connection with the snakes, have no idea of what these snakes can do. But yes, they have the iPhone. They're connected to the World Wide Web, but they're not connected to their environment. They're not in connected to the animals that could save or kill them. I mean, you know, here we said, I mean, you know, we, we're both ferocious users of the internet. I mean, after all, we do research for this show. Mm -hmm. And it's like I sit there sometimes, I'm like, Oh my God, when I read stuff about people being addicted to the computers, you know, I'm absorbing information and I guess everyone else is. How do you, where do you draw the line? You know, it's just, I mean, we've <clears throat> integrated this into our world, but it really is affecting our health. Well, also, there's an unconsciousness about it because I find myself just sitting on the couch and okay. I, scro and I scroll like you look through a newspaper. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, we're always connected to these things and the TV might be on. You still have your iPad there, your phone, and people are texting you. But I always, um, you know, sitting there for a second and there might be a commercial comes on and you grab the thing and you start looking and it's just, and then all of a sudden I say, ah, what am I doing to my myself here you know yeah. I got to stop this stuff yeah so detuning is a huge thing and yeah. what we do at our house now is in most nights at eight o'clock we shut everything down yeah and I think it's an important That's a step. super thing and get a get a real book yeah you know if you or have a conversation right. you know and th these are the things that we're gonna be talking about because um, Nico and I are both passionate about trying to work on changing our environment and you know these aren't going to go away but how can we make them safer mm -hmm. how can we contain our access to them so that perhaps you know yeah, we're do a little a game with yourself and see how long you can go without looking at them i mean it's, it's difficult lots of times to to not turn on the tv to not open your iphone to not open your ipad or any electronic you know, device. i remember when i used to be like i couldn't stand to wait for something mm -hmm. but now i have this attitude like oh it doesn't matter because i'll have time to check my right my my feed my emails and mm -hmm. everything um, I, I, waiting for something doesn't even bother me anymore because I've got this little friend mm -hmm. of the, the tools. But I really, really, there's that part of me that loves being able to research things. You know, I'm not posting pictures of, you know, my coffee from Starbucks. I can't stand that kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm researching stuff. But I would really love to just feel what it's like to get rid of them for days. And yeah, just, I agree. Just be Well, thanks for sticking around, folks. Well, we'll see you next show. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Okay. Have a great day. Basil Chapman will be giving a two-series webinar Wednesday, August 22nd and Wednesday, August 16th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Can sector rotation buoy the market into 2018? Each time the market feels it's ready to have a sharp decline, formerly weak sectors rally to hold the market up. This two-webinar series will be free for Basil's opening call subscribers, and non-subscribers will also receive his daily newsletter for one month free as a trial subscription. Sign up for a 30-day free trial to Basil's daily newsletter, The Opening Call, and gain access to his subscriber-only webinar on August 2nd and Wednesday, August 16th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Can sector rotation buoy the market into 2018?
Hi everyone, this is Basil Chapman and I'm looking forward to seeing you at my webinar series. To sign up for a 30-day free trial to Basil's daily newsletter and gain access to Basil's webinar, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You're watching Tiger TV.